I come from Sweden. I was born in a small town called Nynäshamn, which is just south of Stockholm. It's a harbor town filled with ferries and fishing boats. I started off working for big international companies like Procter & Gamble and Coca-Cola with consumer insights and consumer marketing. And the more I got to do that, the more I realized I really love business overall. And the more I got to make decisions and the more I got to lead, the happier I were. So uh, I became a managing director and then eventually a CEO. To me, as a leader, there are three things that are very important. First of all, it is to listen, because you can't make decisions unless you really understand everything that's going on. But then you need decision making. You need to make a timely decision. You can't wait. You have to move while the time is right. And thirdly, clarity. You need to make it very clear to everyone who is about to cooperate where you're going, where your decisions are taking you. The most difficult thing with being a CEO it's to prioritize. Because as you go around and you meet people, you will get a long list of really brilliant ideas, but there's no way you can execute on all those brilliant ideas, so you have to prioritize. And that is the most difficult thing with being a CEO. The most exciting thing about being a CEO, it's to see people grow. When people take on a new role, when people succeed with something, when people find that they have a talent they might not have been aware of that they have, I love that. And that's the best part of leading a company. What gives me energy? Well, of course, my family, my friends, and I have a lot of interests like reading books, uh, playing games. But most of all, I love really precious and beautiful things, fashion, makeup. My true passion point is perfumes though. You will not believe me until you see this, but at home I have a whole wall with perfumes I've been collecting for many, many years. I've counted, there is about 300 bottles in that collection by now. I even have a little lab kit where you have pure scents like a perfumer would have where you can mix them and, and try them out, I love that. I have a few favorites. One of them is uh, Essenza. This has been a favorite for, of mine for, for quite a few years now, so I very often keep it in my handbag as well. I grew up in Sweden. And being Swedish and see the success of Oriflame, it was always a company I felt particularly proud of, just being Swedish. In 2014, when I got a chance to join the board, of course, I got to understand the company a lot more. There are so many things I adore about it. The social selling model, the community, the products, the culture, all of that is really attractive to me. But if I would have to take it down to one specific sentence, it's something Robert once told. He said, we were always so good here at Oriflame in recognizing star quality in people all over the world. And that is what I'm particularly on fire for, that we are able to look for, for people in all sorts of places, in all sorts of countries, and we find people with star quality. And all of them might not have everything served on a silver platter in their life, but we can be there and show that we believe in them and we support them. That I am so proud of. It's funny with Oriflame because many of the things that we have been doing since 1967, basically, influencer marketing, spreading the word about our products by word of mouth. That's something that really big brands and companies are struggling with right now. They used to be on TV and that doesn't work so well anymore. So they're trying to figure out what to do. We have all of that in our DNA and that's a precious, precious place to be in. But 
Also, so many things are changing right now for all sorts of reasons, financial reasons, uh, technology is changing, consumer habits are changing. So we need to be really, really good at taking this brilliant idea and future-proving it. So there is a lot of work to do, but what we have at the heart of it, the core business idea, that's ahead of its time. I've been lucky enough to work for some really, really great companies. And that has taught me one thing. A great strategy is necessary, but a company is really created in all the small interactions that happen every day between colleagues, consumers, brand partners. All the small choices people do every day is actually what creates the sum total of the company and how it will do in the future. And that is why it is, for me, very, very clear that the most important thing is culture. I am so looking forward to getting out there, to meet as many of you as possible, employees, brand partners, and I look forward to getting to work together on the brightest future for Oriflame.